Hi, chef. I hope that you can help us. I'm a busy mom to three girls, and dinner is my least favorite time of day. Each girl is a little bit different with their likes and dislikes, and I'm at a loss of what to do. My name is Sergeant First Class Rainy Marquis, a five-star military chef. My mission is to travel around this great country and rescue you and your family from the same old boring dinners. Today I'm going to train mom to make beer braised pork with tropical fruit salsa and black beans and rice. Call in for dinner boot camp. So you're a little uncomfortable in the kitchen and you don't feel organized and you have a hard time producing meals for your family. I do. Well, don't, because I'm here to help. Okay. Uh, you're going to boot camp, and after today, you will feel much better and more organized in your own kitchen. Okay. I'm gonna teach you some tricks. The one like here is mise en place. Everything's in its place, and we're ready to cook. Today, we're gonna start off by searing our pork butt. We're just gonna take the whole pork butt, and we're gonna put it in a hot pan. And that's okay, we want that. Uh, we can turn the pan, pan on. Yep. What we wanna do is we wanna sear the meat on all sides and we want to get a little bit of color on it. It's going to seal the juices in for the pork, and at the end, uh, it'll be nice and caramelized. Because what we're going to do is we're going to take the pork from here and put it in the slow cooker, and this is something you could do when your husband leaves to work or the kids get on the school bus. Yeah. And then you have the rest of the day for yourself. <laughs> We've got some nice color. It's starting to render the fat down on the, uh, on the outside of the pork. So we're just going to take the pork. And what is that cut called? Uh, this is a Boston butt. It's a pork butt. And um, this is what we're going to do to make it easy for you. We're basically going to rub the outside of this pork butt with all these seasonings. Uh, this is just some seasoning salt. We want to make sure we get the top, the bottom, the sides. And it's okay if we have extra seasoning. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put some garlic on it. We're going to put a little bit of oil here just because we don't want it to stick to the bottom of the pan. And then we have some julienne onions, and we're basically just gonna rub it all in. And this is gonna produce some fat, and you could take the fat off while this is cooking, but the best thing to do is to add some whole beer to it. Nice. We, it can be stale beer, it can be day old beer, it doesn't matter. All we wanna do is just put some liquid in there. We're just gonna take this over here, we're gonna put it into our slow cooker, and this will take about five hours on high, or we can make it about eight hours on low. You'll know when the pork is done when it starts to fall off the bone. Okay. So beer on the on the pork for my girls is okay? Absolutely. Um, the beer, all we're doing is using all the great flavors that are in there. The alcohol will evaporate um, and there'll be no alcohol left. What you'll be left with is the sugars and the residual acid that comes from the beer. Okay. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our rice. Just until it's covering my hand. Okay. Make sure the bottom's dry. I'm gonna put this in our rice cooker. This will take about 13 to 17 minutes depending on the type of rice that you use. We have our saute pan here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with just a little bit of salad oil, and then we're gonna add our onions. You see that the pan is not smoking hot, but as the oil runs through the pan. Mm -hmm. So we add our onions, and then we're just gonna saute these for a few seconds. Okay. And we're gonna move them around the pan, and the term we wanna use is called translucent. When you can start to see through the onions and they're opaque, mm -hmm. that's where we wanna get them. We're just gonna add some garlic now. Um, at this point, we can add our pepper rings, and these are just baby peppers. So we're sauteing these down. So now we're gonna add our black beans and our seasoning that I just dumped on the cutting board. <laughs> um, a little bit of hot sauce. So we've added everything into this with the exception of a little salt and a little pepper. So we're just gonna stir this as we cook it. Um, you can keep this warm, but basically this mixture is gonna be added to our rice. Okay. So the other uh, thing that we have to do is we wanna make our tropical fruit salsa. What really makes it salsa is that it has tomatoes. We have some pineapple that has been diced. We've got some very ripe mango and we have some tomato congasse. You know what tomato congasse is? Yeah, no, I don't know what that It's is. basically tomatoes that have been peeled, seeded, and diced. Okay. If the girls don't like onions, you could mince these smaller. Okay. A little bit of green pepper, a little bit of red pepper, there's some chopped cilantro. There's a little bit of olive oil just to keep it from the fruit from turning. Okay, olive uh, oil. If you don't put any oil, you could put salad oil if you wanted to, but olive oil has better flavor mm -hmm. when it's raw. A little bit of chopped cilantro, a little bit of salt and pepper. The girls won't know there's that much in there. <laughs> and then we're just gonna mix this up. The best thing about this salsa is if you wait about 30 minutes to an Put hour in the refrigerator, let it set, let the flavors meld together, uh, it'll yield a much better product. Okay. 
All right, so the salsa's finished. Salsa looks great. We're gonna just put it up here and let it rest. If you if you had a lot of time, you wanted to refrigerate it, you could refrigerate it, no problem. Okay. Our black beans are done. Let's go check on our rice. All right, let's do it. The rice is done. Take the rice out of here. Be careful, it's very hot. So what we're gonna do now is basically we're gonna take the rice and we're gonna put it in our bowl. You can see that it's very hot. Now we just wanna add our black bean mixture to this. Mix the two of these up. And our black beans and rice are done. So we're just gonna set that up here. And the very last thing that we have to do is just um, check on the pork. Okay. The pork should be done because it's been in for eight hours. Whew. Look at that. Smell Smells that. Smells wonderful. This is very hot right now at this point. So one thing that we wanna do is always like to wear gloves. And then all we're gonna do basically is we're gonna take this pork and you can see that it comes right apart. Mm -hmm. We can start to put that right in our bowl. Okay. Very, very hot. But with the gloves, you can't you even tell it. that it's hot. Okay. And basically, you're just putting this in there in not bite-sized portions, but in small portions that you can plate it and put it however you'd like. And you can see that the onions have cooked down to nothing. They're gone. They're evaporated, basically. And we just take the last little bit of meat out of there. So the pork is finished. Okay. Let's make some room for this. Okay. Basically, we got our pork. We've got our rice and we got our tropical fruit salsa. Uh, okay. The pork came out of the slow cooker, the rice came out of the rice cooker, and the salsa you made this morning. Okay. All right, let's go enjoy dinner. Let's see how they do. Uh, if you enjoy what you saw today, subscribe to Cafe Mom Studios on YouTube, and if you don't, you're missing out. I'm Chef Randy Marquis, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.